Now, the reason why I'm looking at this is because uh, if I go to, let's say, my game, right? So this is how I play my game. Right now, um, I'm a technician, pero gusto ko kasing... Okay, so before we go to the more technical side of things, right? Uh, makakapili ka kasi ng class. And then... Ayan, for example, change specialty. So why do you... Like... Nasa technician ako no level 3 at the moment. Yung isa yung iba na papansin niyo level 2, level 2, level 1, uh, level 2. Bakit hindi ko minax itong technician level? Bakit uh, binalance ko itong mga to? Kasi when I saw that um, if you check here in learn more, you'd be able to see that pagka na clear mo yung certain levels, let's say level 1. I cleared that. I would get a reward which is let's say additional 1% increase to power production, fission reactor, solar panel array array and mega power reactor. Now, because I have a lot of power uh, items, magbo-boost ito pagka na-unlock ko yung level 1, which is, I just need to produce power and then maintain 50% or greater power efficiency for the day. Efficiency means that uh, you maintain the quality of production. So, minsan, in the game, nagkakaroon ng tinatawag natin ng mga hazards. So, if you go here uh, to hazards, makikita mo merong mga ganito. Crop blight, mechanical failure, virus, marsquake, and all of this will um, affect your items, your NFTs. So if na affect yung certain NFTs nyo because let's say of a Marsquake, hindi nagproduce ng um, nasira yung ibang equipment nyo or yung ibang solar panels niyo, right? So it is your job to repair those items for it to be able to produce yung mga necessary required uh, necessary na mga resources for that uh, NFT. So if kulang kayo nung uh, let's say for example within that 48 hours naman uh, they have or ito yung nakikita ko sa game within 48 hours pag hindi mo na repair mag auto repair na siya. So let's say for 2 days hindi ka magpo-produce ng Marsha or whatever it is na uh, ipo-produce ng um, NFT na yon na resource pagka hindi mo na repair. Pag, pero pag ni-repair mo yon then ayun magpo-produce magko-continue as is siya na producing yung whatever it is na uh, na ipoproduce niya. Okay, hopefully that made sense. So, um, the only thing here is that if you want to go to the next level, so makita niya one day to, ba? On the level 2, mas matagal na. 3 days. On level 3, 6 days. So, makikita mo again, oh, ano yung mga, ano na to, ano yung mga rewards na to? Increased in hazard resistance for fission reactor, solar panel. So, um, hindi naman ibig sabihin na pagka na-hit ng hazard yung colony eh lahat ng cards mo magiging down hindi pwedeng only a few lang of your cards are gonna be affected so um, syempre the the higher you go uh, the better the rewards and when you hit level 9 which I haven't nobody has unlocked yet then syempre meron kong special uh, skill how this looks like we don't know yet uh, but basically, ayan, for example, here at level 9, additional 1% increase to power production. So, ito yung uh, usual na reward mo. And then, ito na yung special skill, unlock. Which is, ayan, meron kang plus 2 Marsha multiplier. Meaning, mas marami kang mapoproduce na Marsha for that item. Ayan. Uh, so, currently, ano ba yung pinili ko? Currently, ito, ako, right, technician. Um, once na nagawa ko yung um, let's say na level up ko siya na complete ko yung yung level na yun tapos I got na bonus already pag nag switch ako ng class whatever it is na bonus na kuha ko dun sa class sa previous class mag carry over dito sa mga ibang classes na to so kaya ginawa ko lahat yan uh, especially pag nakita ko na it's producing um, more of that resources or um, it, cast, it cuts the cost on let's say certain resources so for example instead of me spending 100 water on an astronaut because i leveled up on a certain class um i'm gonna spend one percent less water on that astronaut because i have that kind of like uh skill level or bonus so kaya yun yung napansin ko na it's better to um you know level up gradually across these specialties uh, rather than, you know, go all in, uh, full level technician, dun na ako magpo-focus. <laughs> and then, papabayaan ko to. Kasi, halos lahat ito sila, may mga ganong klaseng bonus na parang they give you like that boost. That 1% boost might not be, um, like sounding big. But, believe me, uh, when, 
tumagal itong game na to, that 1% is gonna be worth it. Especially kung maraming kang cards dun sa specific na anian na class na yun, or kung marami kang cards of a certain type. Uh, right now though, I'm gonna be focusing on the all-rounder, which means that uh, if you see here, ito yung pinaka-bonus niya sa level 1, which is pretty cool. Um, additional 1% increase to power, water, food. So, almost all the resources, it's gonna give an increase of 1%. So, ito guys yung strategy ko. I'm gonna tell you na. I mean, tulungan naman tayo, di ba? So, from here, na, na level up ko na halos lahat ito into level 3, level 1, uh, yung mga iba dito is kind of like resistance, um, resistance lang uh, against hazards. But, in the all-rounder kasi, it's better to just have this as well kasi yung kanyang mga increase. For example, when you go to uh, level 4, ito na, all items, reduced repair. At level 5, increase power ulit for all items. So, sobrang laki ng boost nito compared to just one, like for example, here in Researcher, na only the research items get that boost. Here's all-rounder, you get all that boost. Pero, you will have to have, if you are gonna be an all-rounder, kailangan meron kang cards of everything for you to be able to to have that. So, I'm gonna continue with the all-rounder. And then, syempre, kailangan mo rin ng high rarity cards. Which means, mapapagasto ka talaga, guys, if ever. So, if i-select mo yan, uh, ito, 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 itong checkbox, makikita mo kung ano yung mga requirements niya. Like, ilang power ba yung kailangan mo i-produce? So, ano ba yung mga power generating cards? Ilang water, ilang well-being, ilang social, ilang logistics? Ayan. Now, uh, now that I have, like, kind of like, given you my, my, my strategy, so, makikita nyo guys dito na parang, ito yung mga resources na meron ako. Alright? And then, makikita nyo din dito, parang, oh, ano yung negative na yan? Ano yung negative? So, basically, yung uh, how you wanna be playing this game is gusto mo nasa green ka. Ayaw mong nasa red. Which means that I'm producing here or meron akong surplus nitong mga items na to or sakto lang yung naproproduce ko. Pero pagdating dito sa mga ibang bagay like engineer or logistics, well-being, food, hindi ako nagproproduce ng enough. Ibig sabihin, negative production ako. Mas marami akong nagagasto than what I'm making. So, um, how can I compensate for this? Number one that you can do, syempre, you can buy the NFT that produces that. So, for example, um, I am lacking logistics and I am also lacking in engineering. So, if I select this one, if I click that, it's gonna load. And then, ipapakit niya sa akin, ano yung mga cards that are producing, let's say, logistics, which is this one, social rewards, and then, ito, this is science, eh. Hindi ko kailangan yan. Engineering yung kailangan ko. So, ito, uh, logistics, engineer, social. So, ito yung mga tatlong, actually, kahit hindi naman social. Ito lang talaga pinaka gusto ko. Yung logistic na resources and also the engineering resources. So, anong card ito? Ah, it's the male civil engineer. Ito naman, it's giving me the, okay, ito, female <coughs> civil engineer. So, makikita ko dito na parang, oh, these are the cards that I'm gonna need. So, pwede kong bilhin itong mga NFTs na to, or, uh, so that's one way to compensate. Siyempre, bili ako ng marami, if ever. Kasi siguro, ganito yung nangyayari, guys. Uh, what is logistics? It, Siyempre, it's the, the logistic operation. Every day, if you're, for example, if you're in Mars. Or, in the real world, right? You go from one place to another. That's like logistics, labor. Uh, or let's say you're gonna be transporting um, certain items to another uh, location. That's logistics. And then, syempre, if you're gonna be needing, you know, engineering points, kasi you need to be smart in Mars. If you're not smart, you know, probably you're gonna die fast. <laughs> if I'm in Mars, probably I'm gonna die fast. <laughs> Siguro na, dun sa food, pwede pa akong, may silbi pa ako sa food, but, pero pagdating sa engineering and logistics, probably hindi ako tatagal. Lagay niyo ako sa kitchen, guys. Ako magluluto para sa inyo. Kayang-kaya ko yan. <laughs> or sa economy. Walang problema. But anyways, ayun, guys. Um, if you have, let's say, ano ba? Uh, what do I need? Logistics, right? And then, engineer. Kasi siguro, ito yung nangyari. Uh, I have a lot of cards that are for construction, that are for other things to operate, or yung mga... Basically, I have, like, buildings. I have... Um, excavators, I have, let's say, buggies, helicopters, or drones. I have all these technical equipments, right? But then, kulang yung tao ko to operate them. Wow. Very smart, George. 
bumili ka ng maraming equipment, bumili ka ng maraming buildings, pero wala kang mga tao to operate them. Very smart! Okay. Sige, so yun yung basic, basically, that's that's how my colony structure is, uh, looking at the moment. Pero ganito yun, guys. Like, um, because marami akong construction, pero konti yung logistics ko, pwede kong gawin, what I'm earning dun sa mga construction resources ko, pwede kong ibenta yun for Marsha. And then, from Marsha, ibibenta ko siya uh, sorry, ipambili ko siya ng logistics point. So that's another thing that I can do. Um, if you go here sa taas, nakita niyo yung mga iba't ibang colors na yan. Again, logistics at saka well-being yung parang sobrang kulang ko. Ano? If I go to logistics, which is uh, this one, makikita niyo na parang may days dyan, may timer. One day, 23 hours remain. Ibig sabihin, after one day and 23 hours, hindi magproproduce yung mga items na kailangan ng uh, labor. So, for example, lahat ng mga construction equipments ko, lahat ng ganyan, na kailangan ng uh, labor, uh, sorry, ng logistics at saka ng engineer, uh, engineering points or resources, hindi na yun gagana, guys. Because, ano ba, sab- magre-reklamo yun na parang, oh, si- baka naman may nag-strike na kasi itong mga tao, nag-overwork na sila. Parang, ano no, pina- pina-OT ko sila tapos hindi ko pinabayaran ng tama. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Ang lala. Okay. Anyways, uh, how how can we compensate this? So I'm gonna show you guys how I can how we can compensate this. Na parang okay um, surplus kasi to, for example materials. But here sa labor resource and kulang talaga. So what I want to do is I would like to be buying some of my uh, I would like to be using some of my resources that I get here in the game. Uh, for example, ito may marsha ako dito. I can select that. I can see okay in game meron ako mga nine thousand Marsha. Uh, dun sa wax wallet ko, meron ako mga 30k. So, let's say, for example lang, lipat tayo ng mga 5k uh, Marsha from our game. So, select Marsha here. Transfer from in-game. And then, uh, transfer mo dito sa wax cloud wallet mo. I'm gonna put here 5,000. And then, notice that there's a transfer fee of 2%. So, ito yung tax nila. I don't know what they're gonna be doing with that money. Ang daming nagreklamo dyan. But, ano, it's their game. <laughs> So now that uh, we have successfully transferred that, now what we're gonna do is go to um, Alcor Exchange. So Alcor Exchange, this is where you kind of like um, trade your resources. You can trade your Marsha for Wax, and then Wax, but you can sa Binance, exchange it for real money, or use the swap feature. So you can go here to swap. Uh, if you select that swap, ito siya. Uh, lalabas yung Marsha, ayan. Nakita nyo guys, ang bilis lumabas na kagad yung ano natin yung 4,900 natin na Marsha. So, 4,900 Marsha, uh, we're gonna be selecting, let's say, ano yung, yung sticks? Logistics. Oh, bakit wala? Logistics na lang. Ayan. So, logistics, and then you would be able to see here, economy.mars, that, me, that means that it's from the colonized Mars game. So, here, I'm gonna uh, exchange some of that, pero siguro gusto kong gawin, tagdagan natin ng ano, ng thousand para hindi ako masyadong pabalik-balik doon. I'm gonna swap around 14,900 Marsha to logistics. So, here's another tip, guys. Just in case lang, nakikita niya yung price impact na yan na 2%, 2.1. Pag green yan, that means uh, it's a good slippage. Hindi masyadong malaki yung fee. Uh, if, let's say, for example, gawin natin, tagdaga natin halimbawa ng isa pang zero. Na medyo malaki na yung magiging slippage nito. And makita nyo may 15%. Tapos indicating na red na siya. Ibig sabihin, you're getting kind of like a 15% uh, premium. So hindi siya discount guys. Like, you're getting, you're paying for 15% more of this just to get this one. Kasi hindi ganun kalaki yung uh, liquidity available. Uh, so maybe, you know, because logistics is a very uh, rare resource or very valuable resource kaya hindi masyado nagbebenta yung mga tao um, and so what I wanna do is make sure that when I trade my Marsha resources to logistics dapat konti lang okay dapat konti lang yung slippage or yung price impact dapat konti dapat green lang yan pag nakita nyo green okay pag yellow mm, acceptable pag red never never exchange pag red okay sayang yung pera ninyo baka mamaya you're having a bad deal so anyway, we're just gonna swap Marsha to Logistics. And then once uh, the swap is completed, ayan, makikita mo lalabas, magre-reflect naman yan dito. 
So I can uh, refresh, hard refresh, and then we'd be able to see uh, na pumasok na siya. Ayan. So, ayan, meron ako mga 13,584 logistics. So, what I want to do is transfer that logistics to the game. Um, we go back to the Colonize Mars tab and then select Transfer Tokens. From here, select the token that you want to be uh, ex- anyan, transferring. So, makita mo marami dyan. Ano nga ulit? Logistics Labor. And then from here, select from the Wax Wallet to the in-game balance. And then I'm just gonna select Max. Lalabas dyan. Papunta sa game, guys. There is no transfer fee. So, yun yung kagandahan. Okay? And then once you transfer that, done we have the transfer uh, okay transfer pending pa lang siya uh, but we actually sobrang bilis lang nito if you refresh the game like if i refresh the game uh, ayan so pending transfer pa pala siya guys okay so later automatic naman yan na magde-deposit diyan and then magre-reflect siya dito tapos yung timer na yan uh, mag automatically magre-readjust yan siya now i actually bought a few are i actually sold some of my Marsha. So again, teka, bakit 205,000 Marsha yung meron ako? Bumagsak ba yung price? Hindi naman ah. Why do I have 200? Wait. Refresh natin to ah. 200,000 or baka 20,000 na yun? 20,000 lang siguro. Yan, yeah, it's 20,000 Marsha. Okay, nagulat ako. Akala ko, ano, <laughs> medyo, medyo, ano, yung mata natin lumalabo na. But anyways, guys, Ah, uh, back tayo. Saan ba yun? Here. Oh, nakagay dito 200,000, no? Oh. Why? Why you shock me like this? Hindi imbalance. Are you serious? Hold on. Why do I have 200,000? Well, hindi ko naman tatanggahan yung... Tatanggahan ba natin yung pera, guys? Hindi, di ba? Ito nang galing. I am shocked, guys. Like, hindi ko alam kung asa nang galing. Mukhang may biyaya tayo. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> okay. So, what's gonna happen now? Okay, guys. I'm just as shocked as you. Um, I'm thinking nang galing siya sa legacy staking, but an- hindi pa naman ako... Um, hindi pa naman nag-unlock. So, if I go to liquidity staking, baka sa liquidity staking. So, itong sa liquidity staking, guys, <clears throat> um, I put in liquidity here, like BNB and um, Marsha, and here, Wax, and also Marsha. So, every day, we're actually earning a bonus amount of Marsha every day. So, I think around, if I remember it correctly, I'm earning at least... Within the last 24 hours, ha, parang mga 70,000 marsha per day. On average. So, nanggagaling to sa mga, let's say, sales, nanggagaling sa mga uh, rewards for providing liquidity. Pero, hindi ko nagigets bakit meron akong ganong kalaking amount. Anyway, check natin baka may, may something sa announcements. Saan nang galing yun? Anyway, mukhang wala namang announcements. Okay, tanggapin natin yung pera, guys. <laughs> okay. So, I'm just gonna I don't know where where I got that, but you know, I am not uh like I'm gonna accept donations. I'm gonna accept money that people are gonna give me. So, um ilalabas ko na guys yung pera na yan. 185,000, that's insane. Okay. I'll accept this money. Transfer. Alright. How much is that if I sell that amount? Uh, okay, let's go to... So this is another item that we use to convert. Let's say if you want to uh, see how much you have in peso, sorry, in dollars. You can go to um, earning power, I think. Teka. Or ito, Marsha USD Converter. So once you're here, <clears throat> uh, just put in your um, username and then put how many Marsha tokens that you have. 
So ito automatically niload niya na. So I have around hundred dollars. Wow. Okay, thank you so much, Colonize Mars. <laughs> um, taka sa na ba yon? Okay. So ayaw ko tong ibuhos agad-agad. Oh my gosh! What do I, do? I just gonna be buying some NFTs most likely? Sige, ah, uh, ganito na lang. San, san to? Okay, benta na natin dito ng konti. Konting, konti lang guys. Hindi naman lahat. Konti lang. 87. We'll sell around 100. Taka, ito muna. Butal. Sell tayo ng 11 wax. <laughs> and then, sell tayo ng mga 50k. Yes. Ganyan. Yan yung gusto natin eh. Yung mga 50k. Yung hindi butal. Hmm. There you go. So we've sold around 50k Marsha um, at market. Actually, di, ito yung ginagamit ko. Pwede din naman sa swap. Like you can select uh, from Marsha, just select, let's say, balance. Uh, where is that? Wax. And then from here, pwede ka nang, um, pwede mong i-trade yan. Tapos makikita mo naman, hindi ganun kalaki yung kanyang price impact. Uh, which is pretty cool. And anyways, sige na nga, isa pa. One more. And then, since I have wax now, and then, ano ba yung kulang ko, guys? So, when we were looking at our resources, right? Um, ah, ayan, okay. So, balik na tayo. Nandito na yung... Nandito na yung ano natin, di ba? Nandito na yung transfer natin na logistics labor. So, if you check here sa logistics labor, it's still one day in 23 hours. Teka, refresh na natin. Kasi for sure, nandito na sa account na to eh, yung logistics labor. Okay. Ayan guys, so here you can see that logistics labor is already at 17,303. Uh, so surplus na siya. I'm not being asked na parang in two days uh, magiging zero na yun. So lahat na yan surplus, everything is green. But that doesn't change the fact that I am still, if I go to resources or let's say for example, if you can select that over here, um, it doesn't change the fact that I am still negative um, in production of our logistics and also of engineer. So what I want to do is I want to be buying um, these cards that are producing uh, logistics and also engineering. So ito. So male civil engineer and also female civil engineer. Ito yung mga gusto natin kunin. Um, not, wait, the geologist, they also produce. Yeah, they also produce, they also produce science. And yeah, they also produce science. Um, I think best na pwedeng gawin dito is check here sa mismong guide. You would be able to see ilan yung mga binibigay niya. 1,350 person per hour, logistics at saka social. So, 1, 3, and then 4, 5. We can go and check the geologist. Geologist yan, di ba? Yeah, it's the geologist as well that gives those numbers plus uh, science. So, if we select geologist, let's see kung malaki din ba yung binibigay niya. Kasi kung malaki yung binibigay ni geologist, edi geologist na lang kunin natin. So, engineering labor, ah, mas malit yung binibigay niya na engineering at saka logistics. Pero mas malaki yung science. So, since mas kailangan natin itong engineering labor at saka logistics labor, then ito dapat yung mas marami tayo. Yes. Teka, check check din natin baka may, meron pa ibang cards na mas malaki yung bigay but alam ko ito lang eh ito talaga sila yung ano malaki yung bigay na bonus dun sa mga rewards na yun so what I can do now <coughs> is go here to the NFT marketplace and then I'm gonna look for civil ah sorry bakit ganyan failed successfully <laughs> civil ayan and then from here price yung lowest so ngayon mga female yung ating mga Mura. Wow, we're gonna be buying these females and males. Oh, wait, that doesn't sound right. But anyway, let's go and buy these um, NFTs. Wait lang, ha? Uh, bakit may kilograms dito? Is that? Ah, okay, okay. No, I don't wanna offset anything. I'm gonna be buying through my wax. Oh, this is pretty cool. Sige, bili tayo ng, ano, ng mga tatlong female engineer at saka isang male engineer. Looks like we're gonna be starting a harem. <laughs> Hindi ko alam kung bakit mas mahal itong mga male engineer. Okay. So, 
So yeah, we have bought uh, three. Oh, mukhang wala na tayong cash for, ano, for male civil engineers. Sige, benta pa tayo ng konti. Let's sell more of this Marsha to pay to pay for Okay, here we go. Sige, saan na ba 'yon? Dami kasi ng tabs eh. Dami kasi ng tabs. Okay, here. So bili tayo. Oh wait. Refresh natin. <clears throat> Ipa nagre-reflect eh. Okay, here we go. So, bili tayo ng isang male civil engineer which is costing me $37. Uh, when you buy um, NFT here, NFTs here in Atomic Hub, um, usually, <clears throat> you don't incur any um, ano ba, tax. But if you sell NFTs here in, in this platform, you will be incurring some royalties. So how does that look like? If, for example, we're gonna go to our inventory and then we're gonna be listing some of these NFTs, like if we're gonna list the civil engineer, right? Um, we're gonna put here, for example, suggested price. Pwede naman your purchase price. If you want lowest, kung gusto mo ibenta agad, pwede. But here, for example, uh, let's go for suggested price. Pwede kaya din naman na mag-decide na, okay, I wanna sell it, um, ano ba? Siyempre, I think mas maganda, ano? Uh, wait. Ooh. Teka. And show more. Instead of wax, USDT. USDT kasi dapat eh. And, but hindi lumalabas. But anyways, ayan. Malalabas, lalabas naman dito yung mga, ano, yung mga details. But ayan, for example, if you want, uh, you can select, let's say, um, 700 wax instead, right? So makikita nyo dyan guys na meron kayong parang Uh, this is how much you will receive. Why? Because there's a collection fee. So this is something that um, the marketplace, which is Atomic Hub, is collecting. And then, ah, sorry. Ano to? Um, not collection fee. Royalty. Tapos, Atomic Hub fee is like in this uh, platform. Atomic Hub, this is what they get. 2% and then tokenomics fee. <clears throat> uh, another 2% which totals around 12% na tax if ever you buy um, this token, or oh, sorry, sell this token into the market. If you buy, wala. Um, ang mangyari nun, yung buyer yung magsushoulder, tapos ito lang makukuha ng seller, if ever. So just letting you know, in case you wanna be selling your assets in the open. So ayun guys, um, that's how you buy your cards, and then within the next hour, within the next snapshot, yung mga cards na yun, magproproduce na yun ng mga NFTs. Uh, sorry, ng mga resources na ano, na kailangan mo. So, for example, itong logistics, bababa na yan ng, ano ba, magliless na yung kanyang uh, cost. So, 15, ito, 79. Hopefully, pag-refresh natin, uh, automatically mag-adjust na yan because we bought, like, th- four engineers. Check natin. Pero usually, after the next hour, yun yung alam ko eh, na mag-adjust siya. 